when you come through the Ogden Little Shop Morning Show. Always, always. always. Yeah, he's always put a smile on your face. You've seen him on Friday. You've seen him I mean, all over television. Also, Randy Cunningham, ninth grade ninja. You played the blind uh, the blind teacher. I like that. I'm oh, yeah. yeah well, <laughs> because you may know him from that. John Witherspoon. Woo! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Oh, always a pleasure being here. And Good. Rob, you're going to be doing shows all the way through Sunday? Yeah, uh, Friday, two shows, Saturday, two shows, and uh, one show Sunday. You got the get-ups ready? Oh, yeah. I got the white shoes. I'm wearing, but I'm wearing uh, Rap Lauren now, baby. Oh, okay. My kid tell, told me to stop uh, going to the Goodwill buying my clothes. <laughs> 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 Lauren, so I got Rap Lauren. Hey, right. well, th there's no lie. If you ever get a chance to see a John Witherspoon show, I mean, the man dresses sharp, and that's uh, that's something oh, yeah. that, that, that yeah. you're about, man. What, what does your closet look like at home? Like a, lot I, a lot of rap Lauren now. Yeah. But well, before I used to wear just regular uh, good show clothes from the Goodwill. So now just bright colors. I picture your closet yeah. like fun, bright, and you know. snazzy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I used to wear a, a flowered shirt and some checkered pants. Daddy, <laughs> <laughs> you just stop doing that. Dad, yeah. you need to match a little bit, okay? Yeah. You know, you coordinate. You talk about the kids. How old are your kids now? I have one 17 and one is 25. Okay, so the wow. the what's the dynamic between the twenty five year old and the seventeen year old? Do they do they obviously both know how popular you are? Well, they don't care. They don't, no. Oh, no, my kids don't care about me. No. I mean, oh. They, uh, especially the seventeen year old. He, I'm just daddy to him. Okay, you're just daddy. There's no he, celeb he's daddy, he's Hollywood in, uh, daddy. He's in um, senior in high school. Are there either one of them following in your path, whether oh, yeah, it's comedy and acting? My older son, John David, is, um, is a comic, and he's working. He's doing going out for movies and TV shows. Good, okay. And good. Uh, also, he's uh, doing stand up in the open mic. Nice. He's trying to be like me. Trying to be like. We're all trying to be like your dad. Yeah, I'm going to be working on one of his movies uh, pretty soon. Yeah, he's he's really good. I'm I'm shocked. I took him on the road with me. I had him do five minutes, and he's doing oh, awesome. he's doing very well. I said, well, man, and that's very hard. I mean, I try myself yeah. to you know do that, and, and you know Alex knows, and Alex, you know, big yeah. congratulations, you know, to that dude as well because he's doing awesome. But you know, you what you guys do, it looks yeah. easy. You make it look easy, but it's not. And and you guys make it look all you know. You guys do a great job at it. So yeah, but you have to be relaxed. You can't go out there real tight. Yeah. I, my theory is you have people think you have people in your living room and you you give you throwing the party and they eat up all your food and drink up all your liquor so they gotta listen to you talk. That's the way you make it real easy. <laughs> okay. So what are you getting into now that you're in here for a few days? Obviously yeah. you have the shows. Anything else that you'll be doing in Orlando? Well, we yeah. Not in Orlando, but we have uh, another season coming back from the Boondocks cartoon. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good. And it'll probably be in January. I I did some pickups uh, last Tuesday. Oh, okay. This week, uh, this week, yeah. I love that yeah. cartoon. You know, yeah. A lot of people have tried to imitate it, like uh, other oh, cartoons that come it. out, but yeah. they can't do it. Even LeBron James yeah. had, like, the LeBron cartoon. Yeah. Like, Everyone right. like, hey, man, it's got, like, boom, it's like this. You know, they can't do it. They can't do it. So, um, man, longevity on that, man. Is it yeah. cool working with that crew, though? It has to be. Oh, yeah. Time. Well, you know, I never, you know, when, when I'm doing uh, my my part of Granddad, I'm in the room by myself. Oh, okay. Right, in the so studio. We used to have everybody on the microphone, but you know everybody make mistakes, so I had to wait for him to get his yeah. clean up his mistake, and I cleaned up my mistake. Okay. So let's just have them all going once at one at a time. All right. Nice. They mix them together. And they let you listen back to what everybody already laid down, or they, or no, or they really. just, you just do it like your, your lines. When I'm uh, putting my my uh, tracks out, I don't even, I don't even see the cartoon. Oh wow! I have okay. to think about what I'm gonna look at my head and think right. about how Granddad will say these lines. Okay. Wow. I read the script, and then you can see it. You know, but I don't see it now. I'm beginning to see it because they finished the cartoon and we do pickups on it. Oh, awesome. so the cartoon is there now, so I can see part of the cartoon. Right. Does that make it easier for you? That's easy because I'm really laughing at the cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> cool. Yeah. Did you ever think, like in your wildest dreams, when you were a young man, that you, man, you know, I'm gonna be doing a cartoon one no, day? No, I right? never thought of anything like this because um, Reggie Hutton was working with Aaron McGrew, and he says, Spoon, I got this cartoon I'm doing. I want you to be the granddad. I said, man, I don't want to do no cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Spoon. Said, man, you're going to like it. I read the script. I said, I don't want to do this. Then he talked me into it, and I've been there for about five years. Awesome. Good Lord. Yeah, we're having a good time watching you on there. Man. Oh, man, I'm a lot of fun now. Tell them we said, you know, keep on keeping us. Oh, yeah. As fans, people love it on the streets. And, oh, man. And you, they see, you see it when they represent wearing the shirts and all yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, oh man, funny. it's funny. <laughs> they quite got quotes for Grandpa and all that. Oh, yeah. You know, so so that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, John yeah. with a spoon out with the Obi Little Sean Morning Show. Shows all the way through Sunday at the Improv. Yeah, now, John, how do you like being in uh, in such high demand? Because, I, I, well, this is an assumption. An assumption mm -hmm. on our 
behalf is that you are funny. You're pretty much guaranteed to be a funny person in whatever film they, or, or show that they put you in. I've got to believe that they're knocking down the door to, to get you on part of their projects. Well, you know, I'm, I got this new TV show now called The First Family. All right. yeah. And I play a um, uh, president of the United States father. Oh, and nice. And they're trying to get me to come in and read for it. Uh, and the money they said you're going to get after scale, which means you ain't getting no money for the part. Right. I said, man, I'm not going in there for that. I'm not, I'm not even going in for it. I tell them, I told my agent, don't even call them back. Don't say nothing. Wow. But then they called me and said they want to meet me at, uh, Byron Allen wanted to meet me at his office. And so he said, who they probably written for you? I said, well, not, but not the money wasn't written for you. <laughs> <laughs> money ain't right. Money ain't right. <laughs> nice. Now, how nice. about the uh, other show you're working on, Black Jesus? Aren't you working on oh that? Oh my God! They have, you know, I have, I did one little scene for Aaron Magruder. You know, he did. He was the one that produced the uh, created the boom Uh huh. He said, "Spoon, I got this one part. I want you to play the. I want you to play the uh, homeless man talking to Jesus." <laughs> Oh, they're gonna be you gonna be there's gonna be some controversy when that black Jesus come out. Ooh. Yeah, oh, nice, nice. We'll nice. Talking about it. Well, Jesus, Jesus is cursing. <laughs> man. Oh man, you know, Baptist people and the, and the Roman Catholics and all the people saying they love Jesus. Mm -hmm. Don't you mess with Jesus. Now. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a time of Jesus' life that we don't know about. Maybe that's the time when he was you know doing oh, doing all. Right. Going to the strip clubs back in Bethlehem. <laughs> strip club. <laughs> <laughs> they, they showed the screening of the of the uh, Black Jesus. I didn't even go. I didn't, I said, I'm not going over there. <laughs> yeah, probably smart. That was smart. I'm wait, to, wait to see what the reaction is when the people see it on the, on the and then you're Cartoon gone. Network. Then I might go. <laughs> we want you back many times. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the spoon shows all the way through Sunday at the Improv Point Orlando. Let me ask you this: uh, Speaking uh -huh. of comebacks. We just had our guy out earlier this morning, Arsenio Hall. His show comes back Monday. Yeah. Are you going to be a guest on the show this season? Well, you know, I'm carte blanche with uh, David Letterman's show. So I don't... Oh. oh. So I, I can oh. call him Letterman show anytime I want to and get a, a spot. Oh, nice. Nice. Letterman seems like a cool dude. Oh, he is very... He's an old friend of mine. I've been on him for 30-something years. Wow. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Yeah. Good Lord. We've been to the together. No way. Yeah, he... he Jay Leno was there. Uh, Richard Pryor was there. And Red Fox was there. That's so much oh, that's history, man. That's that's so classic. You know, that, 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 that's a thirteen-year-old listening right now. That's like what the comedy what store? So, yeah, the comedy store on Sunset Boulevard. Mm -hmm. I, you know, you, you were around with these greats. Is there anybody out there right now, like Kevin Hart, or or you know, uh, uh, you know, any of these guys that remind you of those greats, like like Richard Pryor, like those you know type of uh, you know rep well, boxes? Legend. Well, you got you know, I never see these these young comics out today because I'm usually somewhere by myself on the road. Uh, I know I worked with Kevin Hart in uh, Soul Plane. Yeah, yeah. He was in Soul Plane. But uh, it's, they, you see, we had a place to go to at night, you know, to do your stuff. Now you got to go on the road and you buy yourself at a theater. But I, everybody used to go to the comedy store. It was like Richard Pratt would hang out there because he wanted to do his album. Dave Letterman was there. And and uh, every night you would have Freddie Prince there and uh, cool. Jay Leno and Golly. Sam Kennison. Wow, so he yeah. was there every night. But now... Nobody's at the comedy stores anymore because they've gone on, we've gone on, made money and everything else, but they, they don't do it like they used to do. Yeah. So it's a whole new era now. And there's so many comics. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. wasn't that yeah. many comics when I was coming up. But not too many funny wow. comics. Now, there's a lot of comics who have some funny yeah. stuff, but not, you know, to be a funny comic, I think your whole set, like you guys, yeah. you know, you, 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 know you, you know how to how to carry a crowd. And yeah. that's a talent, you know, that's yeah. a skill that, you know, a lot of other comedians are working up towards. And you give them props when you see them, yeah. you know, like being humble when you I know, think, when they do so. Yeah, but I think that if they had, um, if they didn't have to pay their rent, like going to another, drive to another city, do another act, and then drive to another city, they would, it would be like humble like they were, at, we were at the comedy store. Oh, yeah. We were humble. Plus, we were trying to get on a TV show so everybody was real clean. And you think that made people like, like you guys appreciate more, especially when you got yeah. some, and yeah. that's why you guys are so big nowadays. You appreciate, yeah. appreciate what you have. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate. And plus, we were dedicated. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. well, keep keep being dedicated. Oh, we love I'm it out there. Best. We love you out there. John yeah. with the spoon out the OB nice. the show. Love the show. Check him out at the yeah. Improv oh, in a Point Orlando International Drive. You may you may you gonna hit Disney? You gonna hit Disney Universal? Mm, right there? No, no. <laughs> 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 Take a picture by yourself going. Out of the <laughs> no, I'm cool. John with the sports. <laughs> More online. Power.53.com slash TV. Awesome. Awesome. Get out, get out, rise, run, up. <laughs>